guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a password cracker with notepad and how to brute force it and how to defend against this brute force attack. Also, here's a quick disclaimer, don't use this on anyone else's PC without their permission and also this video is for educational purposes only. Now let's get into this video. Okay, so now we are going to be into this tutorial. So what I'm going to do straight off the bat, <clears throat> I'm just gonna run Notepad. So I'm using Notepad++ because it's just better. Uh, if you're using Notepad, then here is how to connect to batch. So you're just gonna write anything down and then you just save the file and then <clears throat> you go to files and then downloads and put the name as whatever you want I'm just gonna use this as an example put the name as whatever you want I'm gonna do dot batch okay that's how you do it I'm obviously not gonna make my video a dot batch video so if you're using notepad plus plus all you gotta do is click on language and then you go to B and select batch. So now what you wanna do is copy down this script that I just typed down just now. So also, sorry for the notepad users, I said to save it as a dot batch. You're actually supposed to save it as dot bat if you want to be a if you want it to be a batch file. So I, I'm just gonna run this in administrator mode right now and then I'm just gonna save it file save as and I'm just gonna do something like password crack and I just save it now I am going to cut to my next script Guys, I forgot to say to go to file and then you run the program and then you put in the IP address that you want to attack or something and <clears throat> something like that. Yep, it should say that. Good. That means it's working. Another disclaimer again. I forgot that if you like put like any IP address if you so it says echo is off when it's supposed to just put down the IP address the reason why it says that is because I accidentally put 1p instead of IP I am sorry I'm going to cut to the next clip where I have written down the code for you to copy down now I am done with the next code you have to write. <coughs> Just write down this. And now what you wanna do is create your own password list. So you wanna go to notepad and just type down random passwords like cracker password one password two or one two three one two three one two three four and you can do as much passwords as you want you can even just like mash your keyboard just in case you want to get the password correct easily and fast you can just spam your keys because you never know <coughs> if like the person's password is just a bunch of spammed keys also don't put the same one twice that's what i keep on making on accident that's what i keep on doing on accident but also i have a password list in the description for you to download uh you can you can download it anytime you want i'm just gonna save this one real quick so i'm just gonna do that i'm not gonna name it password uh 
uh, a week, a week. I'm just gonna name it a week pass list. Just, just a na just a normal name. And I'm going to cut to the next part. And yeah. All right. So now, uh, copy the code that I just put in. So just put in all this code. It's not that hard, just pause the video and then just type it down. Alright, so I'm guessing that you're done now. So do Control S to save. And then now what you want to do is you want to run your password crack and just put any, just put an IP address. That's the name. And what you want to do is get the weak pass list. You want to drag it put in there so it'll put in the the like how it's gonna get to it for mine it just crashes because my PC doesn't support this but it should work for you <coughs> it should work for you so yeah that's pretty much how you do that script now I'm going to do the I'm just going to pause the video and then I'm going to cut back to when I've scripted some more first we get into the next code before we get into the next code I just want to show you how you're going to connect to the PC so what you want to do is net to use and slash slash and then you just put in the IP For example I'm just gonna do that and it's gonna put like this stuff you know and we have device name password home i think this is someone's actual ip address oh this is unknown so it's not syntax of the command is net use device name volume password you will get all of that information and now i am actually going to cut to the part where i do more coding sorry for another cut guys i just wanted to show another thing you're able to do this if you want to straight away start the brute forcing. So net use backwards slash two backwards slashes, the IP address and then space then slash user anything, and then the password. You just you can do anything. For me, I don't know why it popped up with system error one three two six has occurred. That does not matter at all. Now. For example, I tried to log into the PC, which if that was the right username and the right password, then it would have logged into the PC and I would be able to remote the c control the PC from my PC, but the username or password is incorrect. Now I'm going to actually cut to the code. So now that I am kind of half done with the script, here's the script. Now pause the video and type it down. Now I assume that you're done. So also what you do here is just paste in the thing but replace the IP with IP, user with user and password with password. Now what you can do is you can check the error, the amount of errors. So it doesn't just like get the password correct and then just carry on going which you don't want to happen because if you're using mine which has 10 million passwords then that's kind of bad <laughs> now i am going to show you the second script where you can check errors okay so the reason why there's lots of cuts is because we want this video to be quick all right so you want to do echo percentage, error level, percentage. So right now there's two, but if I do clear, okay then slash clear. I don't know why clear doesn't work, but let's just do percentage, no, echo percentage, error, error, level, percentage, you can check that, it's at 9009. I don't know how there's 9,009 errors, but that's okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do that, and then I'm gonna do um, 
echo percentage error error level and I'm just going to do a percentage enter now you can see that there's two because with this one two errors right there now I'm going to cut to the next part where we're going to be doing more scripting now what I want you to do is to click file and click save okay so now if you like do the code but if the password is correct it will say the password is correct and also um you can do the same thing so do echo percentage error level percentage and it should say that it's zero but i'm obviously not going to log into my own account and like show like the password and stuff and <laughs> everything so it's gonna say two for me okay now time for more coding now we are done scripting this is the final script so basically <clears throat> that's the title you're able to change it to whatever you want i just like made put my i just put a average title and put by me and then I put color A, color A is green by the way, and then enter IP address, enter the IP address, enter username, enter password list, and then it does the word list and, and it keeps on repeating it, set password, call attempt, and if it doesn't find the password, echo it, password not found, which it does that the password isn't, it says that the password isn't found with a sad face and success echo password found so if it works then it will say password found and it will put the password right there and also wait um, it might be out of screen sorry it will put the password right there and basically attempt so it would like write how much attempts there was and what password it's at and if the error level is zero which means that you connected then it will go to success and put password found and put the password that's how it works now i'm going to show you how to run it i'm going to cut to the part where everything's open okay so the script's done so just the title i just wrote down what it is is an smb brute force and i put that it's by me color a which is the color green and then we go enter ip address you enter your ip address. you enter the ip address not your ip address and we go enter username you enter the username of the pc that is on the pc you enter the password list remember we just drag it in and it has like the thing up here like that shows what destination it is in so basically set a count equals one and then we have in the word list do set password call attempt and if you don't find the password if out of all of those passwords it will say echo password not found with a frowny face because you're sad that you couldn't find the password and then we have a success so if you succeed then it'll say password found and it'll show the password and so basically this is the attempts so basically it, it attempts it so it puts out the ip the username the password echo attempt count so that so it just writes down how much attempts there is and all the passwords that it's using set a count plus one and if error level equals one go to equals zero go to success remember zero equals that the password is and username and ip is correct and if it goes to success look password found and it puts the password remember so now what we want to do is get rid of all this stuff and we want to get out your app so password crack 
look, we have SMB brute force by me. So we enter the IP address. And this is then we enter the username. Ooh. Enter the password list. I am obviously not going to do that one because <laughs> this IP address isn't real. And weak password list will be quick. Strong password list will take ages. Okay. So weak pass list dot txt. I'm just going to try all of them. Okay. It took 33 tries and a password not found. Oh man. The reason why I couldn't find the password is because that IP address does not exist. Now in the password list, tomorrow I'm gonna post another video. So if you want to get an IP address for educational purposes only, I am going to be teaching you in the next video which is tomorrow okay see you guys tomorrow